I am at a Baptist church that has this big boiler. And repeatedly for years, they have had this issue where they have no heat and they hit the manual reset on the low water cutoff. They call us out to check everything, but it's always running when we get here. So in the past, we've told them uh, different things, different controls that could be suspect, uh, particularly the low water cutoff, because that's what they keep resetting. But I'm going to show you what I am currently dealing with. So here are the main controls. We have a uh, Aquastat that's only being used for its high limit. We have a manual reset high limit Aquastat. So if it gets too hot, boiling point of water, it'll shut everything down. It has to be physically reset. And we have a low water cutoff with a manual reset. They claim they hit this button and everything works. I have not hit that button yet because I wanted to test everything. This is not thinking that there's a low water condition. So everything here is getting voltage through it and is good. Um, our burner circuit right here, which is partially through the low water cutoff, um, these two controls actually kill power to the 24 volt transformer. These are 120 volt controls. So when these go out, we have no power to here and no power to our controls here. But what we do have, and I'll try to see if I could show you one handed, is 24 volts to our ignition module. So I'm testing between our 24 volt and our ground. And we have 25 volts there, trying to get a good connection, 26 volts. What we don't have is voltage from our main valve there. Um, and let's see, this is our pilot valve, which goes to here. Do we have voltage for our pilot valve? We don't, but we have a pilot which is interesting. This is piggybacked off of our pilot valve. I wonder, let's see. This gets constant 24 volt power, our pilot valve. So this is a solenoid that's coming right off of our inlet gas before the gas valves that has constant 24 volt power whenever the burner circuit has power. So there's always a standing pilot and we have a flame sensor here. So it's never gonna spark. We're never gonna go into spark ignition because it's always gonna sense flame. This spark is grounded. Our 24 volt power gets Huh, main power here. This control isn't needed because everything is wired in for this control to jump this control out. But it'll only get power to the unit if main valve main gas valve is giving power to it. And we have interesting. So pilot valve is jumped out and this just sends power back in to this one. So if I have, please tell me I have a jumper in here. Okay, I am going to get a jumper. The truck. For some reason I don't have one in my tool bag. 
curious for two things. One, are we sensing flame on our flame sensor? Because if not, it wouldn't um, ignite wouldn't open gas valve, but at the same time, I would think that we would spark if we weren't sensing flame, because the control is still set up for the flame sense of spark. Okay. So if this has 24 volt power, everything should be running. And it does have 24 volt power, but it's not sending power out. But can I check my flame sense? If I set this to, what is it, microamps? It's gonna be hard to do this while recording. Put you there. Percent shut off. Five minute retry. Been here for five minutes and we've had no retry. So put a jumper on main valve and twenty four volt, and we get ignition. If I take it off, we don't. It's gotta be our control module. Okay, so I uh, checked again and I was sensing flame. I kept the wire hooked up. Um, I power cycled the boiler because it was going to pull uh, the burners to take a look at the pilot assembly, but I could see the pilot assembly from inside without pulling the burners. Uh, and when I restored power, it sparked like the pilot and immediately went into ignition. So what I need to see if I have an ignition module that will work in this case. This should work. MV, MV, PV, PV, 24 volt ground, 24 volt and THW. module is wired up. Here's the old one. I cut the jumper for the flame sensor because this works with a single flame sensor and flame rod uh, combination unit, but this has a separate flame sensor and flame rod. The only thing I'm concerned of is if you ever use a damper on here, it'll never work without a damper. And I'm wondering if, a damp if this was ever used for testing because it looked like the connectors may have been used, but let's see. Ignition. No problem. Okay. So that was it. Should be good to go. For testing purposes, I just shut down our switching relays, which control the pumps and send TT into the boiler. Uh, while still powering our safety circuit, you can see the light on the lower to cut off just to stop TT to make sure it shuts down, and it did. Turned it back on, and we 
have ignition. It's very odd how these modules are wired in um, because when our pilot valve is being told to open, it is um, sending power into our main valve here. And uh, I don't know, it's interesting. But no, you know what? It's sending power into our pilot valve. And our main valve is being told to open through this one. But this one isn't sensing any flame, so it doesn't even know exactly what's going on. So it's a little bit confusing uh, how this is operational, but it is. So leave it at that, it shuts down properly, and I'll do a combustion test to make sure that's burning safely. Getting a test though for a combustion analysis. I'm not sure if I tested the flame sense right on the original control. Uh, Cause I'm not sure how to test it on that one. Normally on the newer ones, there's the two dots you could put your lead onto while it's running and test it. But I know that the flame sensor is good because it is uh, sensing three UA on the new control. So. is nice to know but got the test though and i'll make sure it's burning safely and that'll be it we'll move on to the next same job both water heaters here are out so we're going to set this to pilot put this to pilot okay yeah so our pilot lights we'll let this heat up and hopefully that's all we need to turn it on and same for this one first one pilot stayed lit let's put this to B Going up without any issues. Now we move on to this one. Let that sit for a little. And that one lit. Let's put it on B. Uh oh. Uh, I should probably turn it on. Yep, there we go. Village, we are going up. And combustion analysis. Okay, so uh, very happy that that issue presented itself because I've been here a couple times uh, throughout the past couple of years, a few times throughout the past couple of years, where they say they have to reset it. But when I get there, everything's running fine without any issues. So confident that that's uh, finally resolved. And he's very happy that uh, we hope, we think, I believe it's finally resolved. Um, and then the water heaters just relit those. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching. Like the video if you liked it. Comment any advice or criticisms or feedback. And subscribe. Thanks for watching.